Okay, so we're just about to get to our destination here in downtown Detroit, Eastern Market. This is uh, part of the Mini Takes the States. If you haven't seen our like multi-part episode on the actual event, it's, it, it's totally cool. You de- and an experience that we've never had before. But it's so cool to be driving this thing around the D, especially a revised D. How do we get in here? Okay. There we are. Look at this, man. We got some cool parking. So we just got to our event here with our special super duper top secret. Well, I wouldn't call this quite top secret, uh, but um, somewhere in like the hip part of Detroit. Uh, Detroit itself is going through quite a rejuvenation, but it's, you know, it's going slow because m- many people have seen uh, attempts to rejuvenate this city before, which all have failed miserably and actually brought more criminals to steal from the public coffers. Uh, but this time, I think it's a bit different. There's more going on. Like, the fact that there's this Eastern Market thing here is pretty amazing. This what like, I want to say, what, maybe two, three years ago, this wasn't here. We wouldn't be even pulling up with these cameras on this car two, three years ago. That's how big of a difference this is. But it's just, it's so nice to see this city just moved around and going in the right direction. I really hope that that Packard plant actually comes to fruition. So I don't know if you guys have been following it. Uh, the Packard plant was obviously where they built Packards, but literally it's equivalent to a ruin you would see in like Turkey or Rome in that it's desolate and a shell of its former self and it's a relic of time gone by because either nobody kept it going or nobody invested in into uh, rejuvenating it or trying to repurpose it or there's just been political gridlock and as a result it became it fell into disrepair and a very unsafe place to be like if you were to go and just check it out you could have been mugged shot killed all things happened there but now there was uh, effectively it was repossessed by the city of Detroit and the state of Michigan from its previous owner I don't know who that was because there was just a tax lien they didn't pay the taxes they just figured you know what we're just gonna give it back to the city Well, the city put it up for bid, and the high bid was something, it was ridiculous low, like below a million dollars. I want to say $600,000. But it's not, it's like buying a, you know, it's it's like buying a Range Rover, a used Range Rover. Imagine buying a Range Rover with 100,000 miles. Yeah, you can get one for $5,000, but it's going to cost you $25,000 a year to keep it on the road. Same deal here. You could buy it for $600,000 or $6 million, whatever it is. It's going to cost you $60, $100, $200 million to make it something that's workable, and you're going to need to take uh, investment from, I shouldn't say investment, you're going to have to get stakeholders from the state, from the city, as well as private concerns to make it a thriving, I want to say, public-private concern. Because effectively, for something like that, like think about South Street Seaport or in South Beach, those things weren't just private money putting uh, rejuvenating hotels in South Beach or putting a shopping mall in the old fish market in New York City. That was tax grants, uh, that was land grants, that was uh, basically land developers saying we'll invest and we'll build out a restaurant for you, I want to say Olive Garden or uh, Bubba Shrimp Company, whatever it is. And the idea is everybody invested together and there was a reason to be there as opposed to just, oh, we're going to open up, uh, we're going to rebuild it and then lease out the space. No one's going to take the risk. There's got to be some incentive. And that's what's happening over there. It's moving slowly. It's moving a lot slower than anybody anticipated. But hopefully it's moving in the right direction. Uh, I think at this point we'll talk about this another time. But I'm going to say bis später, And hopefully all of this actually works.